All right, let's take a look at 3723 North Bancroft. So house has been completely redone. Original footprint was a two bedroom, one bath, and they've converted the garage and extra areas over here into kind of a master suite. So uh, let's take a look. It's still small footprint, but uh, really done a creative job of making this one a three bedroom. Uh, living room area here, decent size. Um, there's really not a designated dining area uh, for this. There's, you could probably put a cafe table here on the kitchen, maybe along that wall uh, right there, but it would have to be a, just a two seater, pretty narrow. Otherwise you'd have to figure out some way to incorporate something in the general living space here. Um, but it's a very nice job done. It's really, you know, uh, it got, still has a lot of character, but seems to have been done real well. The floors are the, uh, are real wood floors. They did not put any luxury vinyl plank down. So the character is still here. Um, the windows have been replaced. Um, so really good stuff. Um, from a character wise and condition feels really nice as I'm walking through there's not a lot of tilt not a lot of squeaking anything like that our uh, three-piece bathroom that's the main bathroom for um, these two bedrooms as well as any um, guests it's been redone very nice and then a set the second bedroom here so very you know neutral colors uh, not in the grayish that we've been seeing that's kind of common now. It's, this is more um, in that brown tan uh, scope or range, I should say. Now we get into the kitchen. That's going more into your uh, trendy blacks and grays. New, uh, we have a new dishwasher here. There is no range or refrigerator. So refrigerator would go here. Range would go over here with space for a microwave if you wanted to, or just keep that vent where it is. Um, we'll check to see if those probably be an appliance allowance, I would guess, into it. But pretty nice job that's done. I mean, it's just standard for Micah countertop on here, so nothing real high end on that. Um, not that it would have been expensive to put a hard surface on here, so um, if you wanted to give it a little bit more curb appeal, if you would, that would work out fine. So here is the laundry area, steps out. So this was, um, this is where they've kind of added on in or changed some things around. So nice area here for laundry. You're gonna need to, you could probably do side by sides, um, but if you wanted to really be effectual with it, it's stackable, whether that's something that you would want to include in it or um, have your uh, tenants or whatever, uh, totally up to you. Um, water heater and um, uh, furnace have been updated. Uh, a lot of the meat, I should say in here, have been fixed up. There's some older stuff as well, um, but um, overall, lots of updates and new things in here. We step down into this master suite area, if you will. Um, the bathroom for this, it's a nice, um, completely new three piece that's in here. So it is connected to the rest of the house over here. There's no door on here separating it. So this could also function for guests as well, um, if need be. And then uh, this is the one car garage that's been converted into um, a bedroom. Uh, the only thing that I see that really isn't the, you know, um, the greatest you might wanna take a look at a little bit is the, so these double door, these French doors here, goes out to the driveway, you'll see that. It's kinda, of, you know, it's okay. Um, but you can see a little bit of light through it. And then uh, this back door here, again, goes straight to the, to the, to the back of the house. Um, here's our closet in here. It's decent sized. I mean, for a house that's of this overall size, um, anyway, it's, it's gonna be par for the course. <clears throat> um, backyard here, good sized yard. Um, if it's not, it, it, I mean, it is fully fenced. I don't know how secure it is. Um, you know, for pets or anything like that, but it's definitely uh, a really good sized yard and has fencing all the way around. We take a look at the uh, back side of the house. Uh, they've done a good job. Uh, I believe this is the original, if not, it's um, uh, the, the siding on it. It's in really good shape. They've taken care of it, uh, made some repairs as necessary. Uh, roof looks new, um, looks in really good shape. 
you know, for an old house like this, you're gonna have a little bit of dipping here and there, but uh, certainly nothing significant that I'm seeing that causes me a lot of concern. Same thing side of the house over here. It all looks good. So this is where <clears throat> you'll see the driveway as we walk into the house um, where the one car garage was converted into that bedroom. You can see a really good look at the front side of the house. Not a fan with how, what they did with the, um, with the stack there. I prefer flashing over just gobs of tar, but um, it's still effectual. But anyway, the, um, everything looks good. The foundation around the side looks good. Um, absolutely, other than those appliances, are, it's turnkey. And again, there may be an appliance allowance with the, with the sale of the property too. So take a look at those numbers and let us know what you think. Thanks.